What's going on everybody? This is Jack Gassard with ApexHead.com bringing you a new Auto Vista video. Been a while since I've done one of these. This is for the 2013 Viper GTS, a new free DLC car from Turn 10. And this was a request from a, a subscriber of mine who's been a pretty avid and loyal follower. I appreciate his support, so he wanted me to go ahead and take this thing out. I do have one Dodge Viper video already posted, but it's for the 2008, I believe. So, gonna go ahead and see what this thing looks like on the inside. Ooh, pretty. I do wish that you could actually sit in all the cars in this game, but obviously that would take up way too much room. So just taking a quick look at the interior. And let's see how she sounds when we start her up here. Give us some revs. Oh, that was kind of cool. A little uh, red flash of the Viper symbol when you uh, hit a certain RPM, it looks like. So as you can see, we're going to be racing this with no assists here at Laguna Seca. I typically race on... Uh, I typically race one class above me on medium AI, but uh, because this is an Auto Vista challenge, I'm uh, stuck in the same class as these guys. But that's okay, because I struggle at Laguna Seca, so it probably all evens out. And, of course, the big knock on the American sports cars is they can't turn very well. That'll definitely be put to the test here. Uh, Laguna Seca, a lot of strange corners. And you can see speeding up around here, and I'm clipped on the left by the uh, orange car. That's another Viper. I believe these are all Vipers, actually. And uh, he just came up and sideswiped me. Going to go ahead and negotiate on the outside. Running out of room on the side, but able to get around. Watching my left hand. Now I'm a little spooked from the contact. And up to P2. So now chasing the uh, yellow car here. And you can see that uh, pretty good acceleration. Uh, the Of course, the tempting thing with the Viper or a car like this is to just floor it. And uh, Laguna Seca does not cater to that real well. Uh, I'm actually a little surprised that this was the circuit that they set up for the Auto Vista just because I believe this car would handle better on a different track. But uh, therein lies the challenge, I guess. So go ahead and glide around already up into P1. And so now, of course, I won't have the benefit of following the AI through some of these stranger corners like this one in particular. Very easy to go wide right there. And you have to brake just before you get to that point. And usually, if you can time it right, it's not a problem, but it's very, very easy to miss. And this uh, blind uh, kink chicane here as well, very strange, uh, and also very, very difficult to hit. I was telling uh, one of my subscribers that I really have a hard time with this track because it seems so bleached out. Uh, it doesn't show up as bad here on the video, but on my TV, uh, I have a really hard time seeing the edges of the road. And I know that part of that's intentional. It's got kind of a sun-bleached feel to it. Uh, but my TV in particular, it seems like, uh, struggles with the color, so that's kind of disappointing and frustrating when I race here. But, uh, ignoring that for now, and you can see I clip the, uh, apex there coming around. Don't really know the gearbox all that well just yet. In fact, you could see that uh, I took that last little corner there way too slow, and as you learn the cars and you learn, uh, what you want to be in when you come around corners, you can sort of, uh, Stretch your legs out a little bit. Speaking of which, doing a little drift here around turn one and just kind of testing the grip of the car. Uh, you can see that the uh, gap now is pretty significant. This is basically a non-race and actually for that very reason, this is actually a condensed race. Uh, nothing really to speak of. So skipping ahead here to near the end of lap two. And here's our favorite left-handed uh, little bend there. And you can see that uh, I take it out to the edge of the dirt. Now we'll see how we handle the chicane the second time through, and again, uh, it shows up better on the video, but that uh, curb is basically almost invisible to me on my TV <laughs> because of the uh, bleached out, I don't know, the issue with the color. It's a little bit older. Uh, it is uh, HD flat panel, but uh, just kind of an older TV pushing five years now, so it might be time to look into an upgrade. Yeah, but of course, got to take care of other expenses first, don't we always? So coming in here to the last straight, and a little bit of wheel spin coming out of that last turn, and look at this gap. This is just sad. I'm going to go ahead and coast it in. If I could put it in neutral, I would. But uh, there you have it, the 2013 Viper GTS. I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with some race highlights. Hope you've enjoyed watching. I'll be putting together more Forza videos uh, shortly here, probably some with commentary. 
and I actually have a number of Forza videos posted already. The easiest way to find them would be through my playlists, and I actually have a Forza commentary playlist, which only has, I believe, about uh, half a dozen or so videos with commentary, but uh, if you're interested in F1 2011, I am doing a commentary series for that, entitled I Am No Expert, and you can also find that on my channel or my playlist. So, that's all for now. Thanks again, everybody. I'll see you next time.